Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, he put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Bullet crew. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, USA, Lee! You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. So here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. That knee might have landed there. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, affected <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but this a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off. Well, how about this striking display tonight as he lands yet another knee right there. Several have already landed in this round. 
and you can see they're really starting to take their toll on the opposition at this point in the fight. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really, truly be working the entire time if you guys are in close. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, big punch land. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, you gotta like the way he has started this fight tonight. He has come out aggressively, connecting on a lot of shots here in this first round. No doubt, a crowd-pleasing approach from him here tonight. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. Then. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Beautiful kick. He had a hurt. Unbelievable. Fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Oh, Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Trying to stay in this fight. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, the difference in the strike is crazy. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. He blocks the shot. Oh, that's a good strike there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lou. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Look out, just hit into that leg kick. Up again. Got the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And there comes the separation now. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. No problem. We got caught. We got knocked down. It's okay. We're going to be fine. Breathe. You ready to fight? You ready? All right. Round two. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. And that's gonna do it! He's done, he's done! Oh my goodness, what a fight!
Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bullet Crew. Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.